Hello guys, today I will present you the revolutionary and absolutely unique biomechanical analysis and practical training method that will enable us to recover our natural motion. What is a natural motion? Natural motion is a motion that is extremely close to our inborn motion, to our inborn movement reflexes. It can look very soft, elegant and graceful, like elegant dance, but also it can be done very fast with a lot of power, full of vitality and dexterity. Why natural motion is so important to us? This is because natural motion is a master key to our general health, to our life free of stress, to the most attractive natural posture, and of course, to the extraordinary strength, power, and martial ability. Today I will speak about golden ratio proportions, mostly of our trunk and the head, but also of our limbs. And we will see how this golden ratio proportions are responsible for producing of self-annihilating inertial motion. I will remind you that self-annihilating inertial motion is the motion of the whiplash. It means that golden ratio proportions cause to our body to seize by itself its own motion. If, for example, we see our right our arm with a shoulder blade, okay, the elbow will divide the arm in the ratio of golden ratio proportion. It means something about 1.62. If the longer part will move all the body of the arm in rotation motion, if from any reason this movement will be slowed down or stop in this area, the rotational motion of the shorter part will annihilate the motion of the upper arm. And then, because of the same proportion here, it will be divided in the wrist again in the proportions of pi, 1.62 approximately, this motion will stop or annihilate rotational motion of the lower arm. So, one, two, three. This will actually what will happen when I use self annihilated inertial motion. Now, the self annihilated inertial motion is very important for all our body, but the movement of all our body actually starts from the trunk of our body. If I want, for example, to elevate my arm, the first thing that my body will produce, it will, first of all, 
apply the muscles of my trunk, the contraction of the abdomen and spine, and then it will move my arm. So, the same annihilating inertial motion or same of the trunk and the head is of utmost importance. Let's see now the proportions of our body. From here to here, this is the longer part, and to here, this is the shorter part. So, if I rotate all my body because of the push of my leg in this direction, okay, this movement, the flexion in my lower back and the bending will annihilate this forward rotation. Okay. The motion of my trunk backward will be annihilated by shoulders and shoulders back and the head, how it will be done. This motion will be annihilating partially by shoulders because this is a longer part and this is a shorter part. And the head with the neck, because this is a longer part and this is a shorter part. Shoulders and shoulder blades. So, let's see now how it will work. Okay, I start with my trunk. Okay, so the wave will pass from the trunk to the leg and the body will move this way because it pushes the leg. Now, because of the inertia, the upper trunk will move backward, but it will be annihilated by shoulders and shoulders blades. Okay, shoulder blades moves in backward direction, exactly like shoulders. Then, the head with the neck will move backward and this will annihilate the motion of this part of trunk. Then, to annihilate the motion of the neck with the head, the shoulders will move forward. Now, when we slow down in this motion, inertially, the pelvis will move with a rotational motion forward. It means and this all together will slow down or even stop the rotational motion in sagittal plane of the trunk and the head. So, with the arms will be like that. With the legs. Okay, okay. Now, let's see what will happen in the second part of our movement. Now, after that, my body will start to bend forward. This bending forward actually will annihilate the general mot uh, motion of my body forward. So, this and this. Then, what will be happen next step 
it will be re growing resistance, increasing resistance of my legs. So, it will cause here, increasing lordosis in my lower back. So, in this motion, the rising or extension of my lordosis backward also will annihilate the motion of my upper trunk, the rotational motion. So, It will cause lowering back and bending my neck that also will ha help to annihilate the motion of my trunk. Golden ratio proportions. So, one, two. One, two. Here I started to rise, to elevate my upper body with my legs, okay? Then, my shoulders will move forward and up. It will take my head backward. It will elevate it and Cause the extension of my neck with the head. Okay? It will annihilate the rotation in this direction, extension of my upper trunk. And then my pelvis will move forward, my lower back will bend. And this will annihilate the movement of my upper trunk, from the waist to the shoulders. This is a full cycle of my movement. So, one, one, This is a pure natural motion or self-annihilating inertial motion. This is the most effective motion that human body can produce. It looks very light, effortless, very graceful, but full of energy, with unrestricted flow of energy. And even if it looks very light, it will produce tremendous impact of opponent as we speak about martial arts application. It is a lot of different effects of the internal muscles of our body that will produce internal energy in a tremendous quantities. But this is another subject and we will speak about this in our next meetings. Thank you very much guys. Shalom and thank you.